Well, here we are once again. When Bridgerton first came out, I didn't think I'd be as into it as I was, but then we finished the whole thing in like two days, so <laughs> joke's on me, I guess. Now, with season one, it was an interesting idea to have the first half of it be about Daphne and the Duke doing their whole will they, won't they thing, and then the entire second half of the show was just about them being married and her begging him for some of that Nickelodeon gag, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why did I say that? But anyway, here we are with the second season of the smash hit Netflix show, and you better believe I'm watching this day one, so why don't we check it out together? Come on, let's take a walk. But before that, really quick, this video is brought to you by Switchcraft. So, Kelsey, I hear you've been playing this cool game called Switchcraft. Well, yeah, we live together, Alex. How could you not know? Okay, so what exactly is this Switchcraft game? Well, Alex, Switchcraft is a beautiful game with hand-painted visuals, reminiscent of modern graphic novels. And there's more to it than just good looks. Switchcraft is a gripping mystery thriller whodunit story with TV-worthy writing and over 85 characters. You play as Bailey, a young witch starting at Pendle Hill, a magic academy, when her best friend Lydia goes missing and it's up to you to find out what's happened to her. Bailey is a strong female protagonist who will do whatever it takes to solve the disappearance of her friend, and there are many suspects who could possibly be involved. Personally, I'm getting weird vibes from Professor Shirazi, but that's just me. Huh, well that sounds pretty cool, but like, what kind of game is it exactly? It's a mix of match three puzzles with like thousands of levels, but also it's like a choose your own adventure story where your choices actually matter. I legitimately love this game and would love for you guys to try it. Okay, well you sold me. You all can download and play Switchcraft for free right now and unlock the magical mystery for yourselves. I put a link down in the description box below, so make sure you check it out as it really helps the channel if you use the link. But anyway, back to the show. Once again, it's time for mating season, or whatever it's called, when all of the eligible, pure, and virtuous girls in town get ready to present themselves to all the guys who've just been sleeping around with every other girl they could possibly find the whole year. Now, in the Bridgerton household, oh, that's why the show's called that. In the Bridgerton household, Daphne was the diamond last time, which of course means guess who's up to bat this year. No, no, no. Let her come out on her own. Is this the plan? Daphne, thank goodness you're here. She's requested time. We do not have time. Stand back. No offense, sister, but I believe you are the last person she would like to see. Yeah, Daphne, I don't think anyone wants your advice, okay? I mean, come on, you had all this to yourself and then you traded that for Pete Davidson? Really? What, did you dig him out of the grave yourself? I oh. think. If one of you utters a single word. That's right, this year, Eloise is the one who's gonna be trying to find a dude, which clearly she's very enthused about. <laughs> But I got something unmentionable in my gown. All the feathers affected my senses. Anything, Mama, to get me out of doing this. My darling girl, <laughs> no matter what, you will always be a diamond to me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mom. This is like when my mom would call me handsome. Oh, those girls just don't know what they're missing, Alex. If I was your age, I totally would have gone to prom with you. Yeah, okay, thanks for trying to put a band-aid on a severed limb, Mom. Now, as per last time, all the new girls have to present themselves to the queen so she can pick her favorite and then designate them as the diamond of the season. So everyone's coming out and doing just like the fakest smiles you've ever seen. It's like when you're at your job and you accidentally meet eyes with a coworker and then you just give them one of these. But right when it's about to be Eloise's turn to show the queen that she's not like other girls, you'll never guess what happens. What is the meaning of this? Dearest, gentle reader, did you miss me? I've seen enough. But your majesty, there's still- I have seen enough! Oh, <laughs> Lady Whistledown back at it again. As the members of our esteemed town lazily sojourned in their rustic retreats, I was sharpening my knives. For all, all of you. you. Well, I didn't realize Lady Whistledown was turning into Jigsaw. Sounds like this is gonna be a very different show. Okay, so the whole shtick this season is about Eloise doing the debutante thing and trying to find a guy to marry. But of course, as we all learned back in season one, she likes to read books and wants to find a guy who can hold a conversation, which somehow she's having trouble doing. I mean, it was my understanding that girls want guys to talk less. So, what's your favorite color? All right, let me tell you about everything these days that's ruining society. I have got to get off these apps. But on the flip side of all this, Daphne's brother Anthony is also looking to find someone this year, for some reason. And you know he's serious, okay, because this dude finally shaved off those mutton chops of justice he had last year. I mean, this was a choice. But he's not just gonna fall for the first girl who smiles at him, or looks at him, or vaguely looks in his general direction, like some people. <laughs> Which would be me. No, 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 no. See, Anthony's got standards. My task this season cannot be exceptionally difficult. Hastings did it after all. How hard can it be? Oh, spoke with such feeling, too. I do not need feeling. What I need is what I have, and that is a list. Tolerable, dutiful, suitable enough hips for childbearing, and at least half a brain. <laughs> 
suitable hips, huh? Mm-hmm, yep, that's what I call them, too. Now, despite him thinking that it can't be that hard to find a girl with half a brain and twice the hips, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he ends up not having much luck at all, and he's just kind of ready to give up because this whole 1800s Tinder thing is just not working out. Fidelity Vanderman, just a viola looking for her Orsino, looking for a hoodlum in camaraderie. I do enjoy a good guffaw every now and again. If you're not tall enough to hit your head on the doorframe upon entering, swipe with Widdershins. You do know, Eloise, that you might enjoy the next ball if you in fact danced with someone. It certainly seemed as if Antony had a thrilling time, swept away by many a nimble-footed young lady, were you, brother? I can still barely feel my toes. I thought you ladies were taught to dance. And I thought you gentlemen capable of worthwhile conversation. Yeah, you know, girls always say that's what they want, but then he spent four hours telling them about how it doesn't make any sense that Dora calls herself an explorer if everywhere she goes already has a map. And then they never call you again. Anyway, so Anthony figures he should just kind of stop trying to find a girl on his own and wait for the queen to decide who's going to be the diamond of the season, and then he can just, like, go after that one. Now, one day, Anthony's out riding his horse around, doing whatever dudes did back then, and he runs into this mysterious new girl he's never seen before. You enjoying your victory lap? Apologies, sir. I did not mean to cause anyone concern. Did your maid know you were riding astride? I have no maid. Ah, then you're married. Forgive me. Then you were lost. I am not lost either. I'm on my way back to Mayfair. It is just ahead. Huh. She seems very uninterested in our main protagonist. I wonder where this could possibly be going. So she ends up running away without giving Anthony her name or any information whatsoever. And ah, shucks, I guess he'll just never know who this like stunning babe mysterious horse girl was. Oh my goodness, she's at the same dance as Anthony? What are the odds of that? Is one lady unlike any other? Simply pick the least objectionable and get her wed, bed and bread. <laughs> then you can return to more pleasurable pursuits. And more pleasurable partners. <laughs> <laughs> The lady in question should have more to recommend her. Do not tell us you were hoping for a love match. Love is the last thing I desire. A pleasing face, an acceptable wit. Yeah, you know, basically I'm just looking for a girl with the big badonga donk and huge bazoongas. But guess who has a few thoughts about all this? I was wondering if we'd meet again. So you might discern if my wit is acceptable, my manners genteel. You take issue with my requirements? I take issue with any man who views women merely as chattels and breeding stock. None of that was meant for you. Viscount Bridgerton, yes. When you manage to find this paragon of virtue, whatever makes you think she will accept your suit? Wait a minute, first she was uninterested and now she despises him and wants nothing to do with him? Well, too bad there's no way this could ever turn around. But okay, so this girl is Kate Sharma and her sister Edwina Sharma has debuted this season. And of course, turns out there's a lot more at stake here than just, you know, boredom or like whatever the reason is why everyone does all this. After my father died, Mama and I did the best we could to raise Edwina, all so she would never know of our struggles. But our money ran low, we used the last for this very journey, the Sheffields have agreed to bestow a sizable dowry on my sister and to look after after my mama, but only if Edwina marries properly. So about 400 dances later, Eloise is already tired of literally everything, but like same though, Anthony's waiting for the perfect girl to just throw herself at him, and that's when the queen has something to say. <laughs> Allow it to now be my honor to present to you the season's diamond. Miss Edwina Sharma. Well, hey, there you go, Anthony. Problem solved. You just gotta ask her to dance and you do a couple of whatever this weird bear hug thing is. And wham, bam, boo da bow. What could possibly go wrong? Is your father in attendance? I should like to speak with him. Sadly, my father died years ago. As did mine. Perhaps you could speak with my sister. Just her blessing you shall need if we are. Oh, here she is now, Kate. Ah, Lord Bridgerton. I see you've met Miss Edwina. This is uh... her sister. Miss Sharma, my lord. Oh. Oh my goodness, that's right, Edwina is Kate's sister! And as you might recall from like two minutes ago, Kate is not a real big fan of Anthony over here. There's something wrong, Vivi. You are not to go near that man, do you understand? She is a lovely diamond, dearest. Indeed. She is who I shall marry. <laughs> it's literally me in high school whenever a girl would make eye contact and not immediately throw up. She is who I shall marry. And so we have Anthony who wants to marry Edwina, but Kate is not about to let that happen, but also needs her sister to marry a nobleman to help like save her family. And like, shoot, who knows what could possibly go on between these two, you know what I mean? Then we have Eloise who doesn't want any of this, and her best friend Penelope who wants to keep her identity as Lady Whistledown a secret. I thought you revered Whistledown. Uh, did her arrival not save you from your presentation to the Queen? I was delighted by the diversion to be sure, but all she does is repeat what she hears. Someone must have got the gossip. And does she not have a way with words? Yes, but what is she saying with those words? Oh, yeah, well, I happen to think she's a genius and has probably has a great personality and cool hair or something. I don't know, shut up. But also, her family's going through some stuff of their own that money sure would help solve, you know what I'm saying? So, golly gee, I wonder what's gonna happen.
You know, in these videos, I talk a lot about myself in high school. Like, obviously, it's comedy, so I kind of exaggerate things a little bit. But they're all based in fact, which is that I was a huge loser in high school. I was I was uh, very unattractive. I, you know, never went to prom, never went to anything. Like, I was just, I was like that guy. I don't really show my face very often because I don't really care. You know, there's a couple pictures of me floating around the internet that have somehow leaked out. And by leaked, I mean, like, I posted them. And uh, th there's this one in particular that I still get like, you know, messages and, and emails and stuff where everyone's like, oh, you said you're a loser in high school, but like, I see what you look like. You're just, you're just a liar. You're just lying to all of us. No, 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 no. Okay, let, let me just, I just gotta, I just gotta address this. What you're seeing here is like a finished product. Well, not finished, but you know what I'm saying. Like, like you're seeing, th this is the culmination of years of effort. Like, I did not look like this in high school. I mean, in my head, I don't even see myself looking like this now, you know? Like, so recently my mom brought over this like old photo thing I did back in high school of like all the pictures of me basically through every grade of school. And when I was in like middle school, high school, whatever, like this is what I look like. Okay, this is me. This is the dude who was going up to girls being like, where's my hug, Lydia, or whatever. And and, and this over here, this is me. I didn't look like this till I was like 29, you know? So, so like from, from 15 to 28, I was uh, not at the top of my game, shall we say. So, so you know, whenever I talk about myself in high school, like those are all based in fact. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Send me an email at alexmyerscontact at gmail.com. Let me know what uh, shows or movies you think I should check out next. Check out the sponsor once again. Big, big shout out to them. They really help the channel because for things like copyright or, or things like just doing these types of videos in general, you know, it can be very tumultuous uh, with sort of how YouTube and, and different things work. So sponsors really help out a lot. So if you can support them, I would appreciate it. It's a free download. You can just check it out, see how it is for you. Anyway, above all else, everybody have a great day and I'll see you all next time.